Hello ladies and gentlemen, and it's been a long time since I've done an update to NoTrack, but a few days ago I did indeed release an update. So NoTrack is a network-wide blocking of tracking and some advertising website. It's a project I've been working on for quite a long time now. And what we are looking at here is the web admin page. So my NoTrack server runs on a Raspberry Pi Model 2, and it, yeah, it does the DNS lookups and blocking. So let me show you one of the new features I've implemented a page called Investigate, which is for doing who is lookups. And actually not just who is lookups, but let me demonstrate one for you right now. By doing a lookup for bbc.co.uk, I press investigate, and here we are, the who is information for BBC. In fact, I cheated a little bit here because I've done this lookup already. So yeah, that was why it was a bit of a quick response, but let's go for something else. So duckduckgo.com, and there we go, that was still a pretty quick response, so that is a new lookup. So this investigate tool goes a little bit further than just doing who is lookups, so if I go back to the page with all my DNS queries on for the course of the day, and yeah, this is the stacked up view at the moment, let me switch to the time view, and very discreetly there on the right hand side of actions there is a full stop. I'm kind of working on this feature at the moment, so I just haven't implemented it fully, so this is why it's a bit of a discreet view at the moment. But if I go to a particular item that I'm interested in, um, this site here, eDigital Survey, blocks by no track list. I didn't go there, so what happened? Why did one of my systems go there? So if I click on Investigate, it does look up for plus and minus a few seconds targeted on one specific system. So I have highlighted here eDigital Survey, and the lookups that occurred around it were bbc.co.uk and coincidentally support.mozilla.org was there at the end but that's actually irrelevant in this case. I just know that because mozilla.org is not going to be on the bbc.co.uk page. At least in this instance, yeah, that's kind of invalid. But, but the point of the feature is to try and help isolate what specific page may have made a lookup. And in this case, it has got it spot on because bbc.co.uk was the one that made the lookup. And if I scroll down, I get the domain information. So how do you get this feature? Well, the first time you look at this page, it'll be blank. Uh, unfortunately, there's a bug that I don't know how to solve yet because it creates a new SQL table. I'm going to work on that one very soon. But upon page refresh, it will guide you to enter a JSON who is API key. And this is a website I've found that you can do quite a number of free lookups on per month. So you just have to sign up. And within this page, you get your API key and a number of lookups that you've made. So in my case, I've made 11 out of 500 calls for this month. It looks like you can pay to increase the number of calls you want to make. So yeah, that's just ridiculous now, but it just shows it can be done. Once you've got your API key, go across to the config under general. And at the bottom of the page, you have a field to enter your API key. And once you've done that, the feature will then work. So I'm kind of tempted to make this feature more permanent, really, and replace the who is action from the DNS queries table. So in fact, I'll do away with that whole action section. And anytime you click one of these items here in the list, it will take you across the investigate table. I mean, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm just sort of trying to improve the look here and maybe change some of the way it works. Another of the changes I made is on the config side, on the number of block lists you can add now. We're, we're up to quite a large number of region-specific block lists. These are all based on the add block plus easy lists. To be honest, I would only enable each of these block lists if you live in a specific region or have dealings with any of the websites in the specific region. I mean, yes, you can add in every single block list if you want, but it's a bit unnecessary, really. You just kind of add more of a workload to the server. And one other item I've added on the top level domains. The generic top level domains, I have added .club. I'm seeing a growing quantity of malware, literally, as I've stated there. Although it doesn't appear on any of like the antivirus lists or any other lists I've seen, but certainly from my own experience of um, dealing with the internet logs from a large number of people who have no self-control on the internet, a lot of malicious domains now are appearing in the .club domain. There's also a couple of others which I'll add soon enough. Yeah, I think .tech and .online need to go in this list. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I know the progress in NoTrack is moving along at a snail's pace, 
Whilst I don't necessarily implement many new features on the web GUI side, I am keeping on top of the block list, so yeah, I'm keeping that more up to date. Yes, I would like to work more on this, but I would also like to do more on my YouTube channel, and I can't do both things at once. It's a shame. And my day-to-day -day job keeps me busy as well. Well, look, I'm going to keep working on this project, and I'll see how many more new features I can add, or at least make some of the existing features more smoother. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.